Friday's menu a recipe so delicious, you won't have much room for dessert. Mixed mushroom, stroganoff. Lay Homa, I'm Will Young from YoungManCooking.com. Welcome to the channel where you can cook with confidence. Now this recipe is incredibly easy, really delicious, and if you love mushrooms as much as I do, then you're really going to love this recipe. Blender. One cup cashews. One cup water. Generous pinch, salt. Blend on high until smooth. If you don't have a high power blender, soak the cashews overnight. Set aside. Bring a pot of water to boil for the pasta. This is about 300 grams of mixed mushrooms, and these are just mushrooms that I was able to find at this time, but of course you can use whatever mushrooms that you'd like. Peel down the oyster mushrooms. Slice the cremina mushrooms. Roughly chop the king oyster mushroom. Chop in half the seafood mushrooms. Again, you can use any mushrooms you like and create your own little chef mix. Three pieces of garlic, finely chopped. Half an onion, thinly sliced. Cook the pasta to package instructions. Non-stick pan. Medium heat. Dry saute the mushrooms for about three to four minutes. Season with salt and pepper. Saute for another two to three minutes. Garlic and onions. About three tablespoons of olive oil. Two teaspoons smoked paprika. Half cup whiskey. Saute for another two to three minutes. Cashew cream. Season with salt and pepper. Stir. Thin out the sauce with half cup water. Stir for about a minute or two to combine the sauce, then turn the heat off.
Strain out the water from the pasta. Plate. Garnish with freshly chopped parsley. You can now make this delicious mushroom dish with absolute confidence. What an easy meal to put together. And let me tell you, that is really packed with flavor. Mm. Man, that is so, so delicious. It really makes a huge difference just to dry saute the mushrooms first without any oil because it just releases and intensifies the nuttiness of the mushrooms and then you add the olive oil and then you start frying it and gets caramelized and seared just really really maximizes that incredible flavor from those amazing amazing mushrooms and really like i said you can use literally whatever mushrooms that you'd like, whatever that you can find on hand, and just have fun with it. Mix different kind of mushrooms, try it out, and you definitely won't be disappointed. And that creamy cashew cream sauce gets absorbed by those amazing pasta noodles, and you get a little hint from that delicious paprika, and the freshness from the parsley and it adds a little bit of color as well, but the real hero of the dish really is that earthiness from the amazing, amazing mushrooms. I just absolutely love mushrooms. And like I said, have fun with it and mix whatever mushrooms you desire and you can seriously just make your own little chef mix. That is really, really delicious, easy to put together, absolutely one of my favorite dishes. Honestly, anything with a mix of amazing mushrooms is going to be a crowd pleaser for me. Absolutely love it. By the way, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm glad you're here. And if you love recipes like this, then definitely check out and pick up your free ebook that I put together just for you that has five super easy, unintimidating plant-based recipes to help you get started with cooking today. I'll leave a link in the description box below where you can check that out. Plus, in that same link, you can also watch the entire first class of the new plant-based sushi making Masterclass, and that masterclass is a five class series designed and curated to help you make incredibly delicious and stunning sushi right at home. And that is a masterclass you'll really eat up. As always, remember to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you won't miss a single episode.